Hey guys, it's your girl Holly. <laughs> we're here in the basement and uh, we're here with my dad. Hello. So, what we got here is a beautiful, beautiful piece of wood. As you can see, it's the live edge piece of wood. Um, so stunning. Um, so, it has this beautiful blue finish to it. And because of that, I don't want to stain it. Um, I just want this beautiful blue finish to show through. We have this steel piping. This stuff is so cheap. You can get it at any store, any hardware store or anything. Um, and basically what we did was we just threaded all these poles together to make a beautiful stand like this. Back to the piece of wood. Um, this is from Exotic Woods in Burlington, Canada, Ontario. So we're going to drill some holes in this one so that the ends can fit in those holes. So we've angled the pieces of wood um, just so you don't have like a really sharp edge. Um, so there you have it. We're going to drill holes in it now. Um, so we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to just measure this um, steel rod here. And um, so we have our measuring stick and it reads about 0.85. So we need something um, to cut the hole in this that's a little bit bigger than 0.85. So we have this um, 7 eighths. So we have the uh, piece of wood all set up here. Um, so we have a clamp here. Um, just for safety, so we don't have to um, hold it, hold the piece of wood. Um, and we're just going to drill a hole through this piece of wood with the drill press. So here we go. You always want to be wearing your, your um, glasses during this. So we just have a lock in place too, so we don't drill too far, far into the wood. So um, we have the wood here and we've just drilled the, the holes in it. As you can see, the holes don't go all the way through, which we don't want. Um, and we've drilled the holes in this, these two pieces right here. And um, we're just going to glue these down and put some screws in it. Okay, so we're just tightening the last screw here. Um, so this is all glued down here. Um, and we're all screwed in and this is the test this is the test to see if it fits yay so this is it um we got it all put together looks awesome um luckily we didn't split any of the wood which is great <laughs> um yeah, it looks great. And now all we have to do is put the epoxy on it. Hey guys, we're back and we're just going to uh, seal up the edges of the, of the table with this epoxy. So we're just going to mix these two together and stir it up. bubbles out now with the heat gun. So we first got our our um our first coat on the table. There are bubbles that are coming up just because um, we have some holes in here. Um but it's looking pretty good and uh we'll wait and put our second coat on. So we're back here and as you can see we have um, almost all the coats done with the epoxy. Um, so we're on to our final coat now. So we got the top here and then this is the bottom. 
we thought it would be neat to put our hands there and uh, yeah we'll put one more coat on the bottom here and then one more coat on the top and we're gonna sand it first so I'm just uh, painting on the final final coat here um, it's been a great experience my dad and I and looking pretty good At first I was scared about the, the sand marks, would it like stay there or go away? But um, when you paint a coat on it, it goes away. <laughs> okay, so this is it. It's finished. Now we just have to let it dry. Um, yeah, looks great. <laughs>